You you know you know the NBA playoffs are coming up, right? Yeah. Yep. Those of you those of you guys who who are listening and watching, every time the NBA playoffs come up, that's like the time where me and my dad bond the most. I growing up I did not like basketball and my dad is a huge basketball fan. Uh, so the moment that I started to really enjoy basketball was during the playoffs. Like I remember I remember just being in high school and you know that it'd be like the end of the school year and the playoffs will be on and I'll get to stay up longer. I get to <laughs> you know, I, I get to, you know, get away with not doing homework for the night just to just to watch playoffs with my dad. Oh my so, when the NBA playoffs come around, it's a special feeling for me because that's like, that's like one of the, uh, one of the many things that you and I got to bond over is mm-hmm. basketball. Oh, so yeah. like, what's what's one of your like favorite NBA playoff memories? Off the top of the head, what's one of your favorite ones? Man, my, one of my favorite ones really would be. You know, and he didn't make it as Kobe's last season. But, you know, just I didn't realize how much impact that man had on me until he wasn't here anymore. Right. You know, and uh, rest in peace. But man, he he was uh, he was he was just the, the person that kept basketball alive to me after Jordan. Okay. Okay. You know, I feel this about it. Yeah, now his competitiveness, his drive, his his uh his uh ability to grow, his you know his his eagerness to grow and what he did to make himself better, um, mm-hmm. game after game, you know, it's, it's no coincidence when you see someone really good in the NBA that they just accidentally became that way, right? Now, now I'm gonna say this, and this 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 will. You know, rub a lot of people the wrong way. But oh, when, LeBron, when LeBron came into the league, I really didn't have a lot of respect for him. He's just not an exciting player to watch. He's not, you know. And, you know, they created a lot of hype that he wasn't able to live up to. But over the years, this is what I want to say to to get all the people, you know what I mean? All, you know what I mean? Calm them down a little bit. Is one thing that I respect about LeBron. Now, this is kind of segueing what you asked me, what I, what the, the best playoff I like. And I'm saying this because it, it still makes sense. LeBron, over the period of time, took all the criticism that everybody gave him and he made his game better. Yep. Right. And so That's I can respect right. it about him because right now, LeBron then polished his game season after season after season. And I get to watch, I got to watch that not only with LeBron, but I watched it with Kobe as well. So Kobe was that man that everyone looked up to, even LeBron and all these other players. That's the that's the player in the league that people looked up to because his hunger and his drive to become better and make himself better night after night after night. And yeah not being afraid to be that leader yeah. to take everything up on his back. It's hard to do as a young man. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, you know, so anyway, that being, you know, Kobe's last season was one of the most impactful playoff years. Yeah. I mean, I, I can, I can piggyback off that. Um, Kobe is the reason why I started watching basketball. Um, just the way he approached the game. Uh, his mindset, you know, how they cut corners. That I really related to that, and I really wanted to be like him in a way. I mean, a lot of people want to be like Kobe in a way, but that's why it's so impactful for me when he uh, died. Was because through him, me and you got to bond over basketball, a sport that I didn't used to like. Hmm. So uh, yeah, like that, I agree with that. That that season was definitely a memorable one for me as well. You wanna be my love.